Here's seven SEO tasks you should be using AI for. I'm going to show you how to easily automate each task, save time, and exactly how you can get better results with SEO while saving thousands of dollars along the way, because now you don't need to hire an expert to do these tasks for you. So the first task that you can easily automate with AI is setting up standard operating procedures and hiring processes for your SEO business, because the faster you can hire and scale, the easier it's going to be, and you can do it for extremely affordable prices. Whether you executing your SEO tasks for other people with these IPs, you can ensure that you're getting quality work every time, saving time and being very efficient along the way. So let me show you how to do that. Let's say that you're trying to create a process for ranking and optimizing with Phrase.io and you're trying to get better with SEO by doing that. Well, if you install the plugin Harper AI, which is a free tool, once it's installed, you'll see the Chrome extension like this. And you can take a tutorial from YouTube, for example, like this, and you can say, turn this in the transcript into a full SOP. What that's going to do for you is now take all the transcripts, all the details in the job into an SOP like this. You've got the whole process, took two minutes, and it's broken down nicely into step-by-step -step instructions that you can just hand off to someone else, or you can follow yourself so that you know exactly what to do step-by-step -step for this job. It breaks everything down into steps, and otherwise it'd be extremely time-consuming to play on a video, stop it, pause it, write down the instructions. This just breaks it down in a logical order of steps. And the good thing is, as your website grows, having well-defined SOP and hiring process can make it easier to onboard new people, train them quickly. This is just so important with any SEO business that you're setting up. Now let's take it to a whole new level. You could say create a job ad for hiring the job in this transcript. And now we've got the job, job description, the responsibilities of what they need to do. For example, keyword research, using phrase to create content briefs, requirements, so what person should apply for this job. And you can imagine how much you would pay an operations consultant or a HR consultant hour by hour to create a process like this. And it's probably faster, more efficient, and it saves you a lot of time. In fact, if we chat GPT, how much would you pay to do a job like this? It could cost you a hundred to $500 or more just per hour. In fact, if you were trying to get all your SEO processes mapped out like this, you'd probably pay tens of thousands of dollars according to ChatGPT. So you can see the potential here and you can take it so much further. You could say, give me some interview questions for hiring the job in this transcript. And now you've got the job ad, you've got the SO. And when people start applying for your job and you interview the right people, well, you can ask them these questions. What is your experience? Do you use SEO tools like Phrase? Have you ever worked with a content brief before? And how did you do it? People would normally pay top dollar for stuff like this you've hired someone, you can't really just leave them to their own devices. So you want to make sure you can quickly quality check their work and have some checklists in place to make sure people do the job properly. Well, you can easily do that as well. So you can say to Harper, based on this YouTube transcript, how can I quality check a content briefs quality? And now it gives you a whole list of instructions to quickly check the quality of that content brief. So if you're giving someone a test job and you want to make sure they're doing it properly, well, you can just follow the instructions there. Now, once if you've done the test job, you've got a great bunch of content writers and SEOs on your team, but you're not sure who to choose or you want to select the top 10%. What you can do is actually create a quiz based on the transcript to test if your team is good at SEO and creating articles with phrase, right? So you can create a multiple choice quiz like this that quickly tests people's knowledge. You could have put that in the job ad or you could put it in the interview questions, but either way, you can quickly filter people out quantitatively by the scores in this quiz to check if people know what they're talking about. Because there's a lot of amazing SEOs out there, but there's a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about and don't have any proven results. So this is a way to easily filter. So. Got the job ad, interview questions, a quiz to check people's work, a quality control checklist. But where are we gonna hire these people? You could say, based on the actions in this transcript, where could I hire someone to do this job? Now you go, you've got a list of, you could quickly go to hire for this job. You could use Upwork, Fiverr. You could search for content agencies. You could search for SEO agencies on Google recommendation, or you could try networking. Easy peasy. Hiring process done. What used to take me months is now taking me five minutes, and you don't need to hire some fancy operations consultant or someone else. You've already got the knowledge there. And in the time it would take to figure out how to hire someone to do this, you've got it all there already anyway. You've got the whole process laid out map to map. Is it perfect? No. But if you want the 80 20 of it, there you go. And basically, this helps you ensure consistency, efficiency, scalability, quality. And overall, it's going to help you scale your SEO business so you can get better results overall. Now, let's talk about topical authority maps, right? These are like roadmaps that help you plan and organize your SEO content. So they're all about grouping related topics together. And by doing that, you can show search engines that you're an expert on a certain topic. It's like saying, hey, Google, I know my stuff, so just show me some love in the search results. If you want a really good process for doing this, you can use Matt Diggity's technique. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So if you go to ChatGPT like this, and we'll say, give me 50 semantically relevant 
but unique topics under the main topic of whatever your niche is. So let's say your niche is cats. Now you've got a whole list of semantically related topics that you could write about on your website. And these each have subtopics that you can produce content around. And then the more your content expands and you build up this topical authority, it's way easier to rank. And now you can take one cluster, for example, like history of cats or cat behavior, and you can say to ChatGPT, give me 10 different keyword variations of cat behavior that address a different search intent. And now we have a bunch of articles that we could produce around and you just rinse and repeat for every single cluster that's on the list. And not only do you get like an infinite amount of content that you can produce and loads of article ideas and basically a content calendar for a year, but you can also create the content with ChatGPT, publish it, you'll get topical authority very fast. With AI, you can easily pump out like 10, 20 articles per day and expand that topical authority with less cost. It's cheaper, easier and faster than anything else I've ever seen. And if you wanna see what happens when you build out Topical Authority site and how you follow this method, if you look at this site, the traffic has just increased. It's exponentially expanding. This is only after a month. You can imagine what it's gonna be like after two months or three months or four months. And the power of building out your Topical Authority means better rankings, right? And you can easily identify content gaps in your website that you need to cover in a more logical and detailed way. Or if you don't wanna do, there's another alternative, which is that you could take the XML sitemap which is basically a list of all the content for that website. And then if I give you an example, let's take this list. So now let's say we want to extract all the URLs from the sitemap and then build out a topical authority map. What you can do is ask ChatGPT to give you a bookmarklet for extracting all the URLs from the page and then copy it to your clipboard because if you just copy and paste like that, it's gonna be very messy, include all the dates and the images. So take the code like this, we'll pop it into the URL of our bookmark. We'll hit the bookmark like this, copy all the URLs clipboard, and then with the URLs, you can base it to ChatGPT. If it's a big sitemap, it's gonna be hard to include all the URLs in there, but we can always just do half and half at a time. So we'll delete some there. And we'll say, give me a topical sitemap based on the URLs below. And now you can see it's broken down and created a topical sitemap based on our competitors' links. And it's broken it down into categories. So we've got birds, types of birds. Then you could cover all the birds down here. Bird identification tips, bird behavior, bird watching, bird hummingbirds, bird feeders, etc. And even if this is your own site, then you can quickly see the gaps in your content and where you need to improve. For example, for this site, we haven't got much under bird identification. So that's an opportunity to create more content around bird identification so that we can increase the topical authority on that category. We could do the same with bird behavior, bird watching, etc. Very powerful way of easily scanning through our content. And you can see other half in, see where you're up to with that. And all of a sudden, you've got a data-driven topical site map that only took a couple of minutes to produce. And by using topical authority maps, creating the content based on that, you're making your website more appealing to search engines and the people in your site, which the higher rankings, more visitors, more trust. So it's not too shabby, right? So with method number three, and what I'm about to show you, I could say create content with SEO, but obviously everyone knows that who's watching this. So let's talk about something you probably didn't know. So Google have already said they're okay with AI content, how it needs to be useful, and it's all about quality. In fact, here's what they say. We'll reward high content, however it is produced. And this is what it's all about. Whether it's AI content, whether it's human written content, they reward original high quality content that demonstrates the quality of EAT, expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. Now that's all nice in theory, but how do we actually apply it? We can take those AI content guidelines, copy them like this, and we can train ChatGPT to actually apply it to our content and grade it. So we can say, summarize the following into the five most important criteria. We'll paste in the Google AI guidelines like this. And this has broken down the guidance on AI generated content and summarized it based on the criteria. There, right? You've got the quality of content, personal automation. Obviously you shouldn't be using AI content just to primarily manipulate search rankings. The evaluation of content, so whether it's AI or not, it should be high quality, people first written, and demonstrating EAT, plus you should have author byline. What's interesting, I don't see any using this, but potentially you could have a disclosure in your content that says this was written by AI. And now you can evaluate that content based on these guidelines to see how you can quantitatively improve your content based on what Google recommends. So you can say, evaluate the following content on a scale of one to 10, and then you take your content like this, you paste it in ChatGPT. It's probably gonna tear my article apart now. But as you can see, we've got a rating out of seven and it's given us an overview of what we have and how we can improve. So 
If we've got a better introduction, a better conclusion, that would create a better structure, which would improve the quality of our article. And then you could say, give me some actionable ways to improve this specific article. Now, what I like about this method is even if you don't want to use AI for content creation, which totally understand, it's your website, you might be worried about the future of AI or whether it's going to hurt your site's rankings, etc. You can automate the content grading of your site so that with ChatGPT, you don't have to create content, you can just audit your content. And let's be honest, this is gonna be more objective and quantitative than of a method, because if you have a human who's written it and then assesses it, it's gonna be more opinionated than actually facts driven. So let's look at these actionable ways we can improve the article and take it to another level. So we could add more context, we could provide more in-depth product reviews, we could add a clear winner. These two I wouldn't worry about because ChatGPT can't read the links from my content as I pasted it in, and also it's not gonna read the images. But these three points at the top are actionable, easy ways I could quickly implement to improve the quality of my article and that will be showing you exactly what you need to do to take it to another level and you could easily do the same for Google's helpful guidelines so they have guidelines on improving your AI content your helpful content how to improve the quality of your product reviews and you could take all of that feed it to chat GPT and then grade your content and very quickly audit it doesn't take long as you can see and you just get actionable straight to the point no fluff will improve your content SEO and then if you want to audit your whole site let's say it's stuck and you're trying to figure out how to improve it you could put this into a spreadsheet that's just simple, nice and easy to grade. And as you can see, you would just put your euro in there, your AI content score, review guidelines grade, and helpful content guidelines grade. And then if you're scoring a nine or a 10 out of 10 for each of these URLs, absolutely flying. You've got a much better site. And whether your content is human written or AI content written, you can easily take things to another level using this process. Method number four is creating schemas. Schema is like a language for websites that helps search engines like Google understand the content. And it's a set of rules to tell the specific details on your page also known as structured data. Now this is gonna help you with SEO because it makes it easier for Google to understand your site and you can easily create that with ChatGPT. You don't need a plugin or some sort of expert for WordPress. If you scroll down, let's say we want to create FAQ schema for our page about gardening tips. So what we can do is we can copy the questions from the people also ask section on Google, it already gives us the data and these are the most relevant FAQs to this key that you're going after and you can change this for any keyword going for. And if you go into ChatGPT, the prompt that you would give it is answer these FAQs and give me the FAQ schema code. You paste in your questions underneath here and then it's going to reply with a schema code. Now this looks technical, it's not. You can just copy and paste it into WordPress. And if you hit copy code like this, now you have the code ready to go that's gonna help you be eligible for rich search results and, and it helps Google understand and crawl your content better, which leads to higher rankings, right? The better organized your content is, the more traffic you're going to get from Google. Now if we go on to Google's official site. They teach you how to test your structured data, which is great because sometimes there are errors with ChatGPT. It's not perfect. So what we can do is we go to schema markup validator and we go to code snippet like this. We'll paste in our code from ChatGPT, hit run test, and you can see it is working very nicely. Zero errors, zero warnings. That's what we like to see. We've got an FAQ page here and we're good to go on that. We can just use it on our website. If you've already done FAQ sections and they don't have the schema code, you can just paste it into ChatGPT and re-optimize it for schema code, get the code, test it, paste it to your site, and you're laughing all the way to the schema bank. Now, one thing you should really be using AI content for is content research, right? Because if you plan your content before you write it for SEO, it's gonna help you create content that's tailored to your target audience, tailored for search engines, and well-structured and unique, which improves the user experience of your website and increases engagement with your content, all of which leads to better ranking. And as a famous SEO Napoleon Hill said, plan your work and your work you plan. That's pretty much it. Now, there are a million tools you can use out there for this. My preferred one is Phrase.io. And if you go to the AI tool section like this, you scroll down to outline, you can quickly create a content outline on your title. Let's give it a go. We'll hit generate like this. You've got a nice outline for your content, introduction, conclusion. And there's an even better way to do this, which is you can create a new document. You type in your target search query like this, hit create document, hit let's go. This, and it's gonna analyze the top 20 Google results for your search query. We'll wait for that to load. And you can see here, it's going through the top 10 competitors and their articles, which website they're from scraping all the data because there's clues already in plain sight on the first page. You just need an easy, simple way to analyze all that data and quickly put it into a nice structured outline. Now we'll hit automate content brief and we'll put everything in there, guidelines, people also ask, SERPs, topics, headers, etc. And what we can do with this content brief is you could give it to your writers. They can write content around it or you can feed it into your favorite AI tool. But either way, you know exactly 
what target word count to go for, what FAQs to include in there, who are your top competitors, what are the top 20 topics you should be going for, clusters of keywords, what headers to include, questions, statistics, external links. It's all there. Basically, every single piece of information you need to know is completed with AI. Very powerful tool. And just by planning your content, you can create structure and flow for your writing. It makes it easier to read and understand. And this improves the user experience of your website. Plus, it's structured in a smarter way than most humans could figure out. Next up, you can use AI for outreach. And you might be saying outreach doesn't work anymore or you need to pay for backlinks or anything like that. This site, getting tons of free links. You can see they've all recently come through. Not all of them are gonna be perfect, but you get the idea. Some of them will be automatically generated, of course, but a lot of these articles are specifically manually added into the content. How do we do this? We do it with outreach. We send thousands of cold emails. Now, the problem with sending thousands of cold emails is it's a very time consuming job, particularly if you're writing a new email for every single campaign. So the question becomes, how do you do this? How do you do the outreach with AI? You can speed up writing the content using a prompt like this. So you can say, write a personalized outreach email to whoever you're trying to email, asking for a backlink to my content based on whatever you are. Some jokes in there, personalize each line, talk about their story, keep it short, concise, yada, yada. And this is a custom tailored prompt for creating outreach emails. If you just say create an outreach email for me, it's not gonna do it properly. So then you would navigate to the website's about me page because that usually has all the custom information and personalization that you need to include in the outreach email. So you can see here, I've navigated to mine and you can see I've pasted in the prompt over here with a couple of follow-up emails. Now the subject line isn't amazing, you could easily improve that, but you can see it's relevant, it's personalized, it's got some puns in there, it's even apologized for the dodgy puns. It's asked for a backlink. My content has made it win-win, and you've got the follow-up emails here, and then you can just edit it slightly and you've got an email that's good to go. Now, the thing I would say with outreach is it's just a numbers game, right? Every single email you send isn't going to get you a backlink. But if you play the numbers game, you send enough of these emails, very easy to automate with outreach tools like Hunt or Lemlist or whatever you're using. All of a sudden, you've got tons of backlinks coming to your website and you're flying. Now, the final SEO task that you should be automating with AI is content promotion. So slightly different to outreach, you're not asking for backlinks, but if you want to promote your content and get more traffic to it, it doesn't need to be through SEO. And if you can diversify channels that you're getting traffic from, you're absolutely flying. In fact, a lot of the YouTube videos I produce get most of the traffic from Google search as well. So we're just gonna take an example of my video. You can use this for your SEO articles, and then you can take your article title, you can take the link of it, and you can say to ChatGPT, based on the article, below, Facebook post, Twitter post, LinkedIn poll, and email for this content. Hit enter like that, and now it's gonna break it down into different posts that you can easily do. So you've got your Facebook post there, Twitter post, LinkedIn poll, email, that way you get more traffic to your content, you squeeze more out of it, you diversify your traffic channels, and you avoid spending like hours writing each of these posts individually every time you publish a piece of content. It's automated, you could batch it, do 10 or 20 at a time, and then schedule it later, you're good to go. So thanks very much for watching, I hope this video helped you. You now know how to easily automate your SEO tasks, how to save time along the way, how to get better results with ranking your website, and if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. You can actually get a free SEO strategy session if you click here, and we've got a free link building book for you here if you want to get more backlinks to your website. Thank you.